Welcome to another Memphis Monday, Memphis Monday 168, uh, building a 30 by 12 shed roof and storage, uh, tool storage uh, shed at the end with a nice little deck. Anyway, uh, last week we, we extended our deck on the east, our west shed roof, and this week, and week before that, we built the shed roof. Well, this week we're going to finish our uh, a bigger sh uh, shed roof. This one's 30 by 12, and it's going to be on the eastern side of the building. And we're going to uh, install a a deck in the in the final 10 feet of it, and put a uh, put sides around it so we can have some dry storage for tool storage. All right, uh, it's already in progress. Uh, so we can keep this uh, video short enough. So let's knock off the chit chat and get to work. What I'm doing here is installing some posts. Okay, well, do I'm going to get these posts in and. Yeah, I'll tell you why I'm putting the post in, and tell you what the plan is, and everybody will be on the same sheet of music. I got the uh, vertical beams in. They're nice and solid. I got, uh, they're braced with the metal brackets at the top and a bag of concrete in a two and a half foot hole in the bottom. Let me uh, tell you what's going on. During the last two weeks, we built this uh, nice little uh, shed roof over the porch to the uh, Memphis shop. Then last week, we put in this uh, nine feet of deck extension, made our uh, deck about 20 feet long. To tell you the truth, I, I liked our shed roof so well on the west side of the house that I took a few days and built another shed roof, only this one is 12 feet wide and 30 feet long. Uh, I was going to make it a totally off-screen uh, video, but felt bad about leaving uh, you guys out that might be interested, so uh, this... Uh, video will be about finishing it off. So how I'm going to finish it off is the thing is 30 feet long and I don't need that uh, I only need about you know 20 some feet uh, to put my truck or my boat under it. So I'm going to enclose this end portion uh, put a siding around it. That's, that's the reason we had install those posts and we're also going to put a wooden deck down here. So the first thing we're going to do is the wooden deck. Now this little deck uh, will be inside and off the ground, but I'm making it out of uh, treated deck wood anyway. You notice on that outside wall, <clears throat> the header joist, the center of it, will be supported by that uh, post right there. But on this side, uh, we're not going to have a post in the center. So I just, I'm going to put in a real short stubby post. Um, it'll be the same function as the tall post, but it'll just be shorter. Now I got some concrete left, so I'm going to stick it in around this post. Well, when I was putting those two posts in down there, one of the things I had to watch out for was making sure they were perfectly in line. Otherwise, my header joist wouldn't uh, line up. Now 
I got the joists propped up off the ground with two before's um, so they'll be a, proud of the ground and what I'll do is uh, get all my joists where I want them and then I'll nail them all in at one time I got the joists in there and you can see that that all this uh, the the whole the whole deck is two or three inches off the ground uh, this is treated deck wood it can probably touch the ground so okay but uh, I brought it up off the ground anyway it should be totally dry in here so so this this deck should last forever This is all pretty routine. I'll go ahead and put the rest of these boards on and come back if something exciting happens. What do you think? Well, this is the last board. That uh, goes for excitement, doesn't it? Well, here's our nice little deck. It's already starting to fill up with junk. Um, so I guess now we can start uh, worrying about putting the... We're going to pull a, put a wall up on the north side here and a wall up on the uh, east side. The front's going to stay open. So let's get excited. What I'm doing here is cutting the nailers for the siding. <laughs> Well, there's our stringers for the uh, our siding. We have a lot of obstacles to go around in this siding, um, like we have this uh, this brace here. We have to cut out a, a notch around it, and for this brace here, we have to we're gonna have to notch notch our plywood out uh, to fit around this brace here. Here's our siding. It's uh, OSB on one side. Then it's this uh, real nice looking siding on the other side. It's made in Canada. And I guess they wouldn't call it siding if it wasn't uh, waterproof. So. What I'm doing here is uh, cutting, uh, cutting out the uh, plywood to fit around all the braces and stuff. To get this um, more complicated cutout, I uh, made up this little template here, and then I went out and fiddle with it until it fit. So theoretically, we should be able to cut this and it should fit perfectly. That's a theory. 
And I don't really have my hopes up, but maybe it'll be close. So what I did is I put one screw in down there. Now I'll put the level on it. And bring, and bring this thing up to level. There's our north wall. <clears throat> All completed. And there's the stringers for the uh, east wall. Let's go ahead and cut the uh, siding for the uh, si for the east wall. I'm sure they sell a corner trim for this stuff, but I didn't buy any when I was at the store, so I'm going to make my own. I'll show you how it's going to work in just a minute, but right now I'm setting up my dado blade because I'm going to set up. I'm going to put a little uh, rabbit in the edge of my trim to uh, so it'll sit flush. You know, you do a, 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 a rabbit, you got to use a, a sacrificial fence because the blades are have to be partially underneath the um, the fence in order to get a good clean rabbit. That's uh, what we're trying to fix. There's that trim. I had to uh, put that rabbit in there so the edge of my board right here would line up with uh, the other side of it. Well, we cut out all the light, so that's good. Well, <clears throat> there it is. Our uh, 20 or 30 foot long uh, shed roof with it's 11 feet wide and actually 12 feet wide at the uh, at the roof uh, and we built this nice little deck it's a uh, 10 feet wide it's eight feet thick and we got this entire 
uh, section here all framed in uh, for a little dry tool shed. Let's take one more uh, long view of it and then we'll wrap it up. Sometimes things uh, turn out better than you think they're going to and this thing sure did. One last look at the siding. We made our own corner treatment. Well, that'll do it for uh, this Memphis Monday, Memphis Monday 168, building a 30 by 12 shed roof with a storage uh, shed on the end of it with a nice little deck. Um, big project, and uh, I hope you're able to uh, tag along from uh, start to finish. Well, uh, another uh, shop improvement uh, project uh, under our belts, so we're making pretty good uh, progress uh, here during our senior year. All right, I'm rambling on. Tell you what, uh, uh, tweet and comment and Facebook and share and like and all the stuff you do on the internet. But most important, make sure you're back here next week for another exciting Memphis Monday. Thanks for playing along.